Hey YouTube, Matt M. Roy back once again. Back today with another thrift store find for you. And this one I'm actually really excited about. Picked this up about a week ago, but I've been a little under the weather with allergies, so I haven't really felt like making any videos. Uh, first time I started feeling better was yesterday, so praise God, I uh, hope I'm going to keep it up. <laughs> but this is something I picked up at our local thrift store. And I've been wanting one of these for a really long time. A good friend of ours up in New York has one of these, and he absolutely loves using it. Um, it's not the exact same model as his, but it does the same thing. Now, you guys might be able to guess already, but what this is, is a basically one of those vintage radio looking radios, but it's got a lot of features. It first and foremost has a CD recorder, a CD burner drive. And with that drive, you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, firstly, you can record from the built-in AM, FM radio, which to me isn't too interesting. I mean, if I see a program I want, I might just be, be more apt to record it to a cassette. But you can do that. So recording from the AM, FM stereo is one possibility. Um, another possibility, if you see here, it has an auxiliary input, so I can plug in another MP3 player or a CD player and record CD to CD. Well, you know what, I can do that on the computer, so, you know, that, that's okay. And the third option, you can record from cassette to CD. Um, not the highest end cassette deck, but it does a good job. And, of course, I do have a lot of cassettes, as ma many of you guys have seen. Right back there, that's only a fraction of what I have, so I'm definitely going to be doing that in the near future. But the piece de resistance, in other words, the best part of this is, if you look under here, yes, that is a phonograph. You can record from record to CD. And the best part of this is, not only can you record 33s and 45s, but this also can do 78s as well, of which I have quite a few. Now, the first thing I'm going to say about this is, it is not the highest end turntable. It is, in every sense, black plastic crap, just like you would call the later model VHS players. Pretty much any electronics made today. <laughs> Um, you can see that the table is a little bit flimsy, so you got to be careful. Luckily, I have to test this, and it works, and it does seem to work at the right speed, though I haven't confirmed that. Um, I'll have to print out one of those sheets that you can actually put on here that will verify what speed it's actually running. Condition is okay. It looks like somebody might have spilled some glue or something on here. I tried getting that off with... Um, some alcohol and stuff but it wouldn't come off and so I'm not even gonna worry about it it doesn't transfer to the records very very basic uh, stylus on here I'm assuming that's probably ceramic I doubt that's diamond not not for one like this so even though I don't mind playing my records on here occasionally I would not use this as an everyday record player um, one or two times, especially with my best albums, is the most I'm willing to play this. And of course, that's enough to go ahead and put them onto CD. Um, right here is your lever. That just controls the uh, arm. It's, it, it is not fully automatic. It does return by itself, but you have to manually start it yourself. And unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate this because of YouTube copyright laws. I don't have any records of my own that are not copyrighted so we can thank YouTube for being paranoid about stuff like that you ever saw it there there you go please remove the lock before releasing the toner arm what they're referring to is this when you're when you actually move this there's a little lock here that keeps the toner arm from moving and I usually try to reset that every time because I'm probably gonna wind up moving this over where the uh, computer over there is because that one's being sold so that bureau is going to be this uh, buddy's permanent home um, going over some of the other features I'll go ahead and turn it on real quick power buttons right here uh, it shows a display right here right now it's in the CD mode and um, no disc in there 
we'll go ahead and push the open button. Now, the one problem with this unit, and the reason I only paid $15 for it, is when I first got it, the door was sticking. And that's a, that's a common problem with, uh, with these um, computer-style CD trays. What tends to happen is the belt right here tends to get a little gummy after a while, and or the gears in here um, that actually open and close the drawer will actually get like a, uh, a film on them just from dust and stuff and it'll prevent them from opening. So all I did, and I'll show you guys, I think I have it right in here. I like to use this stuff right here. This is Radio Shack <coughs> uh, Prote uh, Precision Electronic Cleaner. Now you could use something like, um, I forget what they call it, the third weight oil, but that's actually a little too thick for this. Even though this is, this is only electronic cleaner, this does lubricate as well. Um, and it also cleans a lot of the gunk that builds up on these gears. So all I did was spray a little bit of this cleaner on, on the gears and then on the belt and the assembly right there. And, it wor and what I did is I just worked it in like I would actually go back and forth with this a few times and it works just fine now. When I first got it, this would not open up at all. Looking at some of the buttons here, we have the finalize button, so whenever you're done recording, you push that button and it'll show that it says FIN for finished, and once it finishes finalizing, it'll pop the disc out. Basically all that is, is it's preparing the CD to be read by just a regular CD player. Um, if you don't finalize the disc, the only thing disc that this will be able to be read in is a recorder like this or a CD burner in a computer, some, something to that effect. Um, erase if you have a CDRW disc. Um, this is interesting, auto or manual. I notice when I'm making recordings, especially with records, because there tends to be a lot of noise in the records, it won't advance the track automatically. This has a feature where if it detects there's no music or it's changing tracks, it'll, or it, it'll actually advance one track on the CD. But a lot of times when you have older records and you have this, the popping and the crackling, that feature doesn't work. So this will actually let you go from automatic to manual. And then if you're using the manual, you have to advance the track every time using this button here, which is... Uh, the advanced track button. It gets kind of annoying, so I don't do too many at once, but it's still nice to have a, uh, a, a device like this that will actually let me transfer my records to a CD, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Here's your power button, volume knob, just your basic CD functions right there. This knob is to adjust the um, input volume uh, in other words, how loud your, how many decibels your recording is going to be. I usually keep it, uh, they don't actually give you the decibel itself, it's just a, a meter, so I usually keep it around 6 or 7. It goes from 1 to 7. And you can see it right there, record level. Uh, you have the different options here, you have the tape, CD, FM, AM, phono, and then the auxiliary uh, input. Then here you also have an auxiliary, this is the actual auxiliary in right here, so if you're going to plug an MP3 player in, um, you can definitely do that right here. And then last but not least, this is just the tuner uh, knob, this just turns the manual uh, dial tuner. This did apparently have a remote control with it originally, but I didn't get it. That's fine with me. These usually came with really flimsy remotes that I probably would have never used anyway. And again, I'm not really going to use this to play uh, music. It's going to be mainly to just record from cassette to CD and from the phonograph to CD. Build quality on this is actually pretty nice. This is, this is definitely real wood. Uh, it could be fiberboard, but it's definitely wood. And then you have the nice uh, mesh screen. It really does look like an old 30s or 40s radio. So again, build quality is half decent on here. Um, let's see what else I wanted to show you guys. It's even got the little like brass buttons like the old radios would have had. Now, one thing that I found very interesting about this is they obviously had different um, that's what I'm looking for models, and I don't think that it'll pick it up, but 
the, the camera's not quite sensitive enough to pick it up, I don't think. Let me try to turn the light off, see if that helps. Now, if you look at this dial sideways, where you have the different t indicators, it actually will say tape, FM, AM, CD. And then over here, it'll, it actually says card and USB. So obviously the manufacturers had at least an inclination of putting in a memory card reader somewhere and maybe even a USB port, but I guess that was never used in this particular model. So that's going to be it for this. Again, I wish I could demonstrate it for you, but again, with copyright laws, that would be really, really challenging. Um, if you guys find one of these at your local thrift store, I would highly recommend picking it up. Like I said, even if the drawer sticks on yours like this one does, just get yourself some really good cleaner. This, like I said, this is the Radio Shack brand cleaner. Um, and if it still sticks after that, you can get yourself some electronic oil. But in this case, I just needed the cleaner. There are two ports in the back to uh, for external speakers, but I'm not going to show you guys that because this thing weighs about 40 pounds, and I really don't feel like moving it right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little review of the, um, you know, to be honest with you guys, this is does not even have a brand name. I've looked in the back and all it says is it's a CD recorder, um, basically just an, an antique radio style. <laughs> it has absolutely no brand name, so I can't really give you anything other than the fact that it's a CD record cassette recorder. That's pretty much it, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember as always, have a blessed day.